Thank you, Nathan. I, um, I'll try to be brief. Um, I just want to thank all of you for uh, inviting us here today and partnering with us. Nathan, uh, you in particular have been a great advocate and a friend since we, uh, since we met at, uh, uh, how many years ago? About four years ago now? Yeah, 2006, since uh, PSN was started. So I wanted to thank you guys for all of the work you've done and the entire Progressive States Network team for hosting this gala and focusing its theme and your current advocacy of, uh, uh, efforts around healthcare reform. And I particularly want to thank uh, Nathan and the team for uh, the letter that uh, you brought to the White House today that had over 700 legislators from 47 states sign on, which is pretty incredible. But I know that this work and advocacy is nothing new to you all. For years, state legislators from across the country have been the innovators and on the front lines of health care reform. You've debated models and challenged forces that were against reform and worked in many states to change health care systems that have been in desperate need for reform. You've been instrumental in carrying us to and laying the foundation for this moment, which is being on the verge of passing major health care reform legislation in over a generation. I don't have to tell you that our system needs to be reformed. Every day in America, families are forced to choose a different doctor because their health plan was changed since their employer can no longer afford the old plan. Every day in America, families see their health plan benefits erode because they can't keep up with higher premiums, co-pays, and deductibles. Every day in America, people decide to skip a doctor's visit and the medication and treatment that they know they need because they can't afford the payment. Every day in America, families are confronted with losing their health insurance altogether because their employer can no longer afford to offer any health insurance benefits. Year after year, as health care costs increase, American families are losing the very parts of their health care that they value the most, their choice of doctor, their choice of treatments, and the security and stability that comes from knowing that they are covered if anything goes wrong. Against this backdrop, President Obama has committed to reforming health care by starting with a simple promise and a simple principle. The promise, no matter how we reform the system, if you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor. If you like your health care plan, you will be able to keep your health care plan. And the principle, to keep and preserve what's best about your system, we have to fix what's broken and to build on what works. Specifically, the President believes that we should look at a system in communities around America, the ones which you all come from, that provide better coverage for less and replicate their success. He believes that we should have a health insurance exchange so you can compare health plans, none of which would deny coverage based on pre-existing conditions, and pick the one that's right for Americans. And he believes that the exchange should include a public insurance option, because if the private insurance companies have to compete with a public option, it will keep them honest and help keep prices down. If we do not rein in health care costs, they will stun our economic growth, impede our ability to compete in the world, and imperil the country's fiscal health. The President is committed to a health reform plan that does not add one penny to the deficit. This is why the President is committed to getting health reform done this year. As he said it at his address to the joint session of Congress, health reform cannot wait, must not wait, and will not wait another year. While previous attempts at health care reform have failed, this time it's different. This time, the call reform is coming from the bottom up, from all across the spectrum, and the work that the Progressive States Network has done is a great example of how individuals are working together across the states, across issues, across the divide, between legislators and advocates to make sure that this time we achieve meaningful health reform. But the, health, but the campaign for health reform is only going to intensify over the summer and into the fall. People, as they often do in Washington, will begin drawing sides and demonizing pieces to try to bring down the whole. But we know that all of you will continue to push forward the work you all have already been doing and do things like hold town hall meetings in your states, put op-eds together in support of health reform, conduct press events, and work across party lines to help get a diverse set of voices to come around reform. As a former legislator, the President understands the power of, of your platform. It is his and all of our hopes that you will use those platforms to help us do the right thing for the American people and work with us to achieve health reform this year. Thank you.